Hi Gustav, can you tell me a bit about the process of designing the new era experience? Uh, one of the challenges we were facing in the beginning was uh, how to make a, a product like this, a steel box, attractive. We found out that a uh, more humanistic approach would be a better way forward for us. Putting the user in the center and listen to what, they, what their needs are. For me, as an industrial designer, I have to translate that into a uh, physical form. In the design object itself, we have used uh, curved uh, uh, corners. When you have a light in the room, that light sort of creates a gradient on that surface, which gives you a warmer, softer feeling to it. Instead of you, if I would do a box with no radiuses or like sharp corners, uh, it would create more of a technical uh, yeah. object. In the competition, there's quite a lot of techy boxes, uh, and we want to find our own DNA, sort of design DNA, and also find a design element that we could sort of work with cross range. So these uh, curved corners could be potentially use those for other uh, products like the outer unit and products to come also. What we want to achieve as well is not only a robust design mechanically, mm -hmm. we also want to have a robust and uh, timeless design that will work and not jump into some sort of short term trends happening right now. So for the indoor unit, early on decided to remove the screen itself. We added a light and we wanted to work with an indirect light. So when I as a customer change the temperature in my app, what happens on the heat pump? It will, the indoor unit will wake up and depending on what's happening, but the light will move back and forth using different lights to cue different uh, statuses. There is a one-to-one -one thing going on between the app and the actual uh, uh, unit itself. We have borrowed a design element from the indoor. We have used that element and repeated it and stacked it on top of each other. This rib geometry is covering the whole front of the outer unit. This rib geometry is trying to hide the technical inside the fan, but you can't hide uh, the angle that much in front of the actual fan because then it would block the airflow. Mm -hmm. So we sort of change the angle in front so this creates this little interesting movement, creating this little uh, dynamic shape. When we design where we use the curved uh, corners, those corners became the actual frame that uh, they've been used in the brand uh, work. So there's actually a direct connection between the Aero logo yeah. and the shape of the outside very much unit. So, very much so, yeah. It's also about brackets capturing something. Which Aero is all about, uh, capturing heat out of nothing. <laughs>